Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2119, which is a hard level, and I've tried over 10 times to beat it without boosters, so I'm going to bring in some boosters this time. Uh, and let's see what I want to bring with me. I think I'm going to bring in a color bomb, and I'm going to try to forestall using it. Let's talk about this level. We've got... 35 moves to clear out 62 jelly and reach 125,000 points. We've got a few helpers on the board besides our color bomb we brought in. We've got a lot of detractors, five layer thick frosting, these licorice cages, which actually right now are being helpful because they're holding at bay our nemesis, the chocolate, which currently can only grow here and here. But as soon as we open up um, this diagonally, uh, this diagonal point here, we're going to have to deal with the chocolate that pursues us. So here's my goal. I'm going to try to open up as much of this frosting as I possibly can before I open up the licorice cages. What I'm hoping that will do is it will give me the opportunity to um, create some space so I can make some specials to help me against the onslaught of the chocolate having a hard time on this side opening things up, probably because I'm being delicate around this. Ah, and then this is what I want. When I do open things up, I want something powerful to help me combat. So I'm going to open up this area. We can let the chocolate grow a bit. If I have any good moves over here, I'm going to take it. If not, I'm going to do this. I don't have any good moves. But now we've got this red down here. This is why I brought in the color bomb, specifically to try to match it with a special that could help me in this area. The reason I say that the chocolate is our nemesis is it does awful things. It grows wildly, and so um, we lose our um, real estate. We can't make moves when all of the um, candy becomes chocolate. But then also... We have to remove the jelly, and this covers over the jelly so thickly that we can't even see what's under there. So when we can get this freed, we're going to want to take stock of where the specials, or where the jelly is, and where we need to um, attack. Now I am trying to make specials here, so that's uh, first on my mind. Oh shoot, there was a blue there, and I was going to try to make it into some sort of color bomb. Couldn't do it. You can see this chocolate just grows and uh, makes me a bit nervous. I don't want to make that move or that move or that move. I want to be over here. Oh, here, I can take out this chocolate. I like to use these separately if I can, but I'm not going to. I'm going to use them against this. I love this combo. Oh, shoot. Well, I didn't get to use that combo. But at least this is coming down into this area. Now, I told you that I have played this more than 10 times. And because of that, I am going to be very willing to consider using some boosters to help me um, in-game if I'm not able to take care of this on my own. But it, it's looking pretty healthy right now for me. I forestalled bringing in boosters because this is a fun game. Oh good, I got it. Okay. Well, it took me long enough. I think I maybe tried 17 times without boosters, and then this is the third time I brought in a color bomb to help me. So I think I've played this a total of 20 times, and um, and it just takes a combination of luck and really investigating the board and trying to hold out to make a combination with the color bomb if you bring it in. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.